Yo guys, what's up? It's Space DH, and I continue from the last left off at Final Fantasy VII. Yay! Here we are. I told you before. End game of this one. Before that, I told you I was gonna do a little bit of level grinding, and yeah, this is pretty much the outcome of it all. I know I look a bit OP, but uh, we'll get it all done somehow. But in any case, I got uh, Barrett's satellite beam, and I got Tifa's meteor strike. So I don't have to worry about her no more, really. I can get Barrett's last one, and then I'll get his level four, and that'll be the end of that story, you know. Well, in that, man, this is it, people. This is the only last chapter of this one. We're gonna go find Eris in the City of Ancients, get to Hubble for Sephiroth can, and hopefully we can stop Sephiroth from getting, using the Black Materia and calling the Ultimate Destructive Magic Meteor. So, uh, yeah, actually, let me show you my materia. Like, I've been on the road with this stuff. This, this, this actually may come in handy, you know, later on in the game. Whoa, I'm just on four levels? Wow. Might as well keep that in there. And, uh, I've mastered this. I've mastered so much basic materia. You know, it's been a heck of a journey. And I'm just going ahead and keep mastering a lot of things. Oh, I got a new quake. Nice. Let me see that. And I got another bolt to work on. What is this bolt too? Eh, I ain't care for that right now. I don't even think I need revive material, you know. But uh yeah, I might just keep it. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up my materia. My counter need one more level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my materia now. Get that thing out the way. Uh, you can stay right there. That's restore. I have two restore materials. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Wow. I'm gonna. Why'd I do that? You know what? Whatever. Okay. One of these gotta go up there. Hold it. It's always a blank spot in his area. There you go. Ah, good enough. Uh, let's get a hominid for you. Wow. Excellent. Okay, that can stay. This can go. I'll put a bow. There you go. So, uh, pretty much at the end here, guys. Like I said, it's been a heck of a journey. I'll tell you that much. Man, to tell you the truth, uh, I didn't actually really think I would get this far. You know, with all this leveling up and everything. Uh, around this time, you know, I'll be on this too. But I decided to, like, take my time. I'm gonna go ahead along with the game and see what we can find. And I'm probably gonna do more level grinding after the end of this one. And I'll bring back the uh, Pac Man wall. I can't keep pulling that, holding that off. You know? Other than that, that's about it. But, uh, let's see. Death Blow, enemy skill. Okay. So, here we are. Let's see. You got everything? Yeah. Let me change that to Quake. Unless someone else has Quake on. Let's see. Hey, you got Quake on. I don't know why either, but uh, I also mastered uh, Gravity Materia. Uh, it, was, it was pretty easy, actually. But uh, I got it out the way. So that way, you know, I can have something else in it. What can I add to you that could be useful? You know what? Actually, let me try this Elemental Materia drink. Or added effect, actually. Uh, put you up there. He got an extra space. So does Barrett. But I usually don't like filling up my material slots. Like, all the way. Add an effect. Adds material status to equip weapon and armor. Adds material element. Equip weapon and armor. Uh, so it's like a side effect to that. So, nah. Okay, you good. I'm gonna raise my material real quick. I just already took up four minutes. Heh <laughs> heh. Okay, let's put on your strongest weapon. 
which would be a heavy Vulcan. You got four slots, good. Look. Heavy Vulcan. You already got that. Platinum Fist. Is it? Is it Tiger Fang? It's Tiger Fang. Yep. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh. What was that I just threw out there? Thank you. Alrighty. So with the icicle region, like I said uh, last time, we're either gonna go ahead and uh, stop at. I was either gonna start at Gangaga or Gananga, how you pronounce it, and I was gonna start at the next place. And this is the next place. I figured we more legit this way anyway. Welcome to the Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. What do you want? Uh, what are you doing? We're excavating. It's a land. It's like the last town in the history of, of the planet. Interesting. <sighs> Do you know what Eris is? Are you talking about that girl? I warned her. She went into the sleeping forest anyway. Uh, where is the City of Ancients? The City of Ancients? Oh, you must mean the Forgotten City. <laughs> Can I talk to you? So let's talk to everyone around here first before we do anything. Let's get some little answers here. You can awaken the sleeping forest if you have a, the lunar heart. Once awake, they said the forest will open the road for you. The girl in the pink just went in and also used the lunar heart to get through. I want a lunar heart. Ask the guy in the tent below. We use a newer system to find buried treasure. We simulate earthquakes by using bombs and then check the sound waves given off by the tremors. So y'all like blowing up stuff. Legit. Excavating is a slow process. The treasure we excavate are stored in the box next to the tent. Remember that. The forest just behind here is called the Sleeping Forest. Right now, the forest is asleep. And anyone who wanders in while it's asleep, it confuses. You can go in, but you may never come out. But just now, the girl in the pink and the man in the black cape went in. You think they'll be alright? Okay, you know what? Let's get. Let's hope we get this little heart. We gotta save Eris. Come on. Apparently, we can't talk to the guy that's sitting there climbing the rock and the ladder and stuff. The Lunar Harp is somewhere in the ground here. We can exca excavate it if we want. If that. We can excavate it for you if we want us to. We'll start digging. It's not just the Lunar Harp you're after. What else are you having us dig for? The Lunar Harp. Alright then. I'll, then I'll let you some of my staff. Show us where you want us to dig. Perfect. Okay. Let's go up top. Usually, Luna Heart be up top here. And make sure you have some money too. I'm stacked. I have over 700,000 gil. You know what I should have did? Should have just bought that, that freaking villa in Costa del Sol. That's actually an optional side quest. Once you buy it, uh, it, it does become yours. Okay, maybe one more. Around this campfire thing you're looking at. One more. So I think you guys have actually uh, been around this whole time looking at this. Let's just walk through. Let's play, not walk through. I know it's been a while. You know, it takes some time and everything. Uh, I know you guys have been patient as well. And to, uh, watching this. Following this as well. Shit, man, that's kind of close. And uh, I appreciate it. Just in mind the way how they're looking, it should be in this area. Okay, now the staff will dig here, the results will be digged overnight. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty close. You have to follow, <clears throat> excuse me, where the uh, people are like looking at. It should be right there though. Yep, Lunar Heart. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go. Let's let's go find her. See before it's awoke. What was that? I know I'm not the only one that saw that, right? Mm. Uh, gotcha, Kajata materia. It's a summoning materia. Put it on later. I'll put it on right now. There we go. Good stuff, right? Yeah. 
watering. Uh, these guys hold the enemy skills, the little fat dudes. Hey, these guys are freaking weak. I'm upset at this, man. Look how OP I am right now. I'm, I don't even need to use magic. This is how strong I am. I don't need magic right now. <clears throat> the counter material is good stuff as well. I've been updating the counter material like this once in all. Dang it. Just kill these guys and not have a problem with this. And this move dance. I don't understand how this could hurt me. What is this supposed to be? I can understand if it slows me down. That's about it. How do you miss? Shoot him. Won't be long, you know. For you, I want to go. Alrighty, so DTMP, I haven't touched it in a minute, I figured I gave it a break, and that should do it, so now I'm going to try again tomorrow, and uh, everything should work out fine there. I love this song. Alright guys, here we are, the Forgotten City. Now, no random battles here, I can either go to the right, or I can go to the left. We're gonna go. To, we're gonna go to the left. And get all the treasure here. I like this song too. It's very, very interesting. Very interesting. Nobu Amatsu is a really good music composer. Very interesting. Hmm. I think some stuff you can do here. Okay. Can I test this? Can I test this? Can I test that? Oh come on! I should be able to test. Oh no! It's not in this room. <laughs> Duh. Uh, magic source. So this is the Forgotten City. It makes you wonder, like, <clears throat> how do people actually get to live in this stuff? You know, like, seriously, a city like this is that forgotten. Look at that. What is this? Can't do nothing with it now. That was like a weird looking object, though. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> um, but still, you know. Hmm. Aurora omelet. Okay. Just so you know, all this equipment and stuff is water stuff. So, this should give you like some kind of hint. You know. I love this song. You know, I'm gonna find this song and just download it. This might come in handy. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Well, I know where to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, two houses. Hmm. Let's try this house. Guard source. I need to find out what enemy I can morph into that. Into that uh, uh, guard source joint. That raises defense. I know where the enemy can be morphed into a power source. I need guard source, power source, and speed source. So I have to find out who and what has those. Look, sir. You should be able to talk to that thing. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Words of the ancients? No oh, good. I can't understand. 
I remember when I was a little kid, I used to think, was Cloud an ancient? And I was like, wait a second, he was a soldier. Nah, bullshit. They were in the same uh, boat as Ares, you know? Heh, <laughs> is it bad? Shall we take a break here? Okay, guys, let's take a break. Let's get some rest. I feel it. Hang on one second, guys. Cloud? What is it? Eris is here. And so is Sep Sephiroth. What? Sephiroth? But how can you tell? It's not an excuse. I feel it. In my soul. Then we better get up and off our lazy asses. Right. Let's hurry and find Eris. You know what's gonna be the fucked up part about all this? I get a brand new enemy skills material at the end of this game. Yeah, I mean, disc. Fuck. Come on! Thank you! Okay. Hmm. I know I can't go this way. We have to find errors. How about this way? I do this now of all times, I know. I'm stupid. What does this lead to? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come back here later. Why is this daytime? That's kind of funny, right? That's the only part that has daylight. <laughs> the rest of it is all nighttime. I kind of like how the story went, though. You know, Cloud had been take a break. So they couldn't find Ares. They looked everywhere. She decided to rest for a bit. Then at nighttime, Cloud is able to hear Eris, or feel her presence and Sephiroth. Eris's voice. Coming from there? If they ever remake this game, you know, like for the PS3 or whatnot, if before the PS4 come out, um, if they decide to remake this, this would be quite interesting. I'd actually be interested in uh, playing this game. Even though I already played it already. Okay, guys. We're gonna stop right here. Once I get to the next room. Because I want to save this last part for the final part of this one. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a like. Give it a comment. comment. If you're new to my YouTube, subscribe. Many more videos will come. I'll see you guys in my next part. This is the last and final part for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'm HBASTH. See you guys next time. I'm gone. Peace out.